Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn GCP with Mahesh. Today I'm really excited because I'm doing my 50th video on GCP concept. Thanks a lot for all the subscribers and viewers. Today we'll migrate an EC2 instance to GCP's GC instance using Cloud NDR. I have already provisioned, provisioned an AWS EC2 instance and it contains a small application. So I'll show you that in a minute or so. This is the IP address. So let me SSH into this. I've SSH into this uh, AWS EC2 instance. And this is the Node.js which I mentioned. So a small application. Let's run that. And that Node.js application listens on port 8080. So let's try to view what it outputs. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for all the subscribers and viewers. And it mentions the request is served from this IP address. So let's migrate this virtual machine into our GCP's uh, GC instance. Let's click on Cloud NDR, which opens up a new URL. So let's log in with the Gmail ID with which we have logged in with our GCP console. Let me click on sign in. Let me log in. Create a project by clicking on this icon. Give a name. So this is a different project. So don't get confused with the project of GCP and the project of Cloud Endo. These are totally two different entities. Click on Create Project. So once you click on Create Project, it will guide you how to set up the entire process. And uh, Cloud Endo is an agent-based migration tool. So you need to install a specific agent. This will help you walk you through that process. First information which we need to provide is our project ID. This is our project ID and the next one is a private key file. So this is your service accounts private key. So let me show you how to generate that. Go to comp, go to the, uh, the screen, our web console, click on APIs and services, credentials. Click on create credentials and uh, service account select service account and we already have a default service account so let's use that and click on create account. once it gets created a file will get downloaded to your uh, local desktop open that and copy the entire stuff and paste it here so the, that's the first step click on save So once we save it, the next step will come up where it will show you some details which you need to enter, like to which uh, zone, which uh, which zone, which data set, like which zone, and what are the other details you need to mention, like you need to provide. You it will ask you there. So let's migrate it to Mumbai, and we'll also mention uh, the region is mentioned. Let's also mention the zone. So let's leave it as maybe let's select Asia South one hyphen C and let's leave the VPC as uh, default. And if we don't enable this, it will be using public internet for doing the migration. So let's leave it as that since we don't have a VPN setup. So click on replication setting. Once we have done this, you will get a notification saying that the setup is completed. And the next step is to install the Cloud NDR agent. So let me click on show me. It will show us the details of how to install the Cloud NDR agent. So it has both the options, one for installing uh, the Linux option and the one for Windows. Since we are using a Ubuntu instance, we will use this option. And the key here is, uh, this is the license key. So first let's download this. And then we can install that by passing the agent installation token. So let's download the agent by copying the command here. Once it is downloaded, let's execute it by a sudo command. Let me copy the sudo command to execute this uh, agent. And if you see, even the, the license token or the key is also copied here. That's very important. So let's wait for the installation to complete. So it is just getting started. Yes, getting connected to Cloud and your console. 
So let's wait for the installation to be completed. The installation is successfully completed. Now when we come back to the Cloud India console, you will see a change in the screen showing that what is the progress. So if you just double click on that, it will show you the, the data replication has just started initializing. So which will take around 30 minutes for the replication to happen. The reason for this longer duration is we are using public internet for the replication purpose. That's the only reason. So let me pause the video. Once it is replicated completely, then we'll resume back. The replication is completed and you see that it has been never tested. So we are about to test that uh, migration. Before we do the testing, we need to set up the blueprint. So let's map this to a, a specific machine type. G1 small should be good enough and let's give a specific name so that we can remember so let's name it as ec2 to gce via cloud ndr and all good so we don't need okay we can just keep it as default so just save this blueprint once the blueprint is uh, saved successfully what we'll do is we'll launch the target machine so when you click on launch you get two modes one is test mode and another one is cutover mode. So when you run in test mode, the replication is still in progress. You can still do continuous replication, data replication. That is possible. But the moment you do cutover mode, you will not have any replication from your source machine. So what we'll do is we'll try with our test mode. Click on test and you can continue. So this will take up a longer time. So if I click on the progress, you will see the, the progress which is happening. So let's wait for this to happen. I'm going to pause the video. The machine is now launched in the test mode and the job has been finished. Now let's verify whether it's replicating in our GCP console. Go to your compute engine screen and you should see the image or the virtual machine which we just migrated in a test mode. This was a name. And you see another instance. So what is this? So this is your cloud and your replicator. Since we have just doing the test mode, so this replicator would be still there. So once you activate that cutover mode, this instance will not be there. So, so far so good. We have successfully migrated. Uh, and if you see, we mentioned uh, Asia, Asia South 1C. It is there and we had mentioned it has to be uh, G1 small. It is also coming there. So everything looks fine. The only part now is we need to test our application. And if you remember that program was listening on port 80, 80. So I have opened the firewall in our GCP for this instance. And we can just SSH and see whether the migration has been completed. A small tip is uh, when we do a migration from EC2 to uh, GCP's GC instance, this SSH will not work. And this is the same case with any virtual machines because the keys which is generated in a different uh, environment will not work here. So meaning this SSH button is not going to work. Instead, use your putty or any SSH client with the right uh, SSH key to log into your migrated virtual machine. So I'm going to use the same uh, PPK file which I used to connect to my EC2 instance uh, for my uh, GC instance also. But only thing is that the IP address is our uh, GC's instance. So let me click on open. It's connecting and let me enter the password. The password, passphrase and I'm good. So let me just increase the font size. If I put ls, you see along with the installer and our file is also migrated. So it's time to test it. Let me clear the screen and do node.js migrate. It's running. Let's open up. So let's open up a browser and type this URL and see what comes. So the key here is the host name which indicates we have successfully migrated so that's how one can migrate an aws ec2 instance to gcp gc instance using cloud endure hope the video was helpful please let me know in the comment section if you want me to do a video on a specific gcp concept 
I'm happy to do that. Thanks for watching.